Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Be quiet! I'm following that guy. Something's not right about him. Jacob Rivers, marked for termination. Are you all right, Jacob? Jacob! Hours later, they found me lying in front of her hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Jacob? Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. 
As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So, I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. And Ryan wanted to talk to you. Heat from that plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But damage to the skin made the burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Wow. You're really smart. <laughs> I learned all that before the war. And thanks to Judgment Morning, Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't... I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. Okay, now sit. Roll over. Fetch. We've got a lot to learn. Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now, what should I call him? Maybe... Wolfie? I don't know about that. You wanted to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good to see you finally turn the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? Sneak up on me like that. It's bad enough with those creepy noises. What noises? Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Voila. Silverfish got him. They're every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look, this poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy? Resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise, so before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. He won't be needing it anyway. Hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I uh, feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. <sighs> I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. 
So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that. Right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin... Nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello?
is it. <laughs> 